Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio, 43617-419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com, and you can find the Facebook information in the description below. This is Tuesday, August 10th. Uh, just got my DCs in. And so I'm doing the video with them and then also with the other product that came out earlier. Had somebody in earlier that was looking at uh, that these figures here I got in. The uh, Marvel Legends, Marvel Plus or Disney Plus figures. So we got Loki. He came in. Got Sam Wilson, Captain America. We've got the U.S. Agent. Uh, we got the Baron Zemo. You've got Bucky, the Winter Soldier, and they've got the the wings. The, the uh, put together build a figure, if you want to call it, is the wings for Sam Wilson. You've got the Scarlet Witch, and you've got the White Vision. That should be should be seven of them. That's seven right there. We did get I did get full cases. Of the Scarlet Witch in, and also of of uh, Sam Wilson, the uh, Captain America. Like I said they had Spike in earlier, so I went ahead and cracked that open for him. And then also we got in, let's crack this open from McFarlane, the Batman Beyond. So he was in yesterday. I told him I got Batman Beyond figures coming in, so he was excited. But there's Batman Beyond, so I'm sure I'm going to be selling a lot of these, hopefully tomorrow, and certainly by this weekend, I'm sure I'm going to. Um, so we got Batman Beyond there. And then also, before I get to this, we've got some more of the Toon Tumblers. We had the Spider-Man Toon Tumbler that came in for uh, like issue 301. Still got the Amazing Spider-Man for 300 that we have to get where he's in the symbiote suit. But we did get the Venom Toon Tumblers. That's a takeoff on that. So we have those. So we're still waiting on Carnage and we're waiting on Spider-Man. We got four of those in. So might be going soon. Sooner than uh, later. And then I did get a few of these in. These are new uh, Tiki's. More of the Gilman, some of the new Gilman Tiki's right there. So we have those. We got some of those available. And I know I'm going to have a couple of people coming in getting those. In fact, there might be somebody coming in tonight to get his, his Gilman Tiki. I'm going to be here. Uh, the shop closes at 7, but I'm going to be here much later than 7. I might uh, jet out of here briefly about 7, 7.30 to grab some chow and then come back here. So... If you come back here, I'll have the doors open, and I'll still be officially open, even though I'm actually closed. Now, also, we got in, this is for free comic book day, the 6-inch uh, black and white turtle 4-pack. These were allocated. I thought, man, cool, I got four of them in. And also, before I get to those, too far into those, the pop figures, Infinite Warps, Madam Hell. We've got her. That looks like that should be a glow in a dark figure. But that looks like a pretty damn cool figure. So let's move this paper out of here. We've got some more of the White Knight Batman and White Knight Joker figures, pop figures. We've got some of the Infinite Warps Iron Hammer figures. Which are pretty damn cool. Um, just got a couple of these in, you know, so they're not going to be here for very long. But I ended up getting two, two of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles black and white uh, four packs. Official merchandise limited to 3,600. So I got two of those in that may be available on uh, on free comic book day. I have no idea what the price is gonna be yet, but we have those. Now, let's get to the DC product. We're getting very close to video 1000. I'm trying to plan on what I'm gonna do for video 1000. Video 1000 is probably going to be 
different snippets from Free Comic Book Day. As people were in here, and so some free snippets on that. Because uh, I still have to do a video of all my product, all my free Comic Book Day products. I've got, and I've got those at a secret bunker location. So we've got these here, Batman. At least these here come bundled in packs. The ones from Diamond do not come bundled in packs. But there's a Batman special edition for free comic book day. And again, the shop's uh, a website uh, has a uh, an email that I send out that if you're signed up on the email, then you might get uh, might be lucky enough to uh, be getting uh, an unfair advantage uh, email. And you can sign up at the web at the shop's website at jccomicsandmore.com. And then I'm also sending out more information as far as the uh, free comic book day uh, details for the sale and everything. And you can find that on the shop's Facebook page. Again, you find the Facebook in the description below, along with uh, uh, Checkmate Games and Hobbies. Uh, the video game underground, he's no longer has a store, but I think he also sells online. And then also there's a chili dog place in town here, Jan's. I think I've got a uh, uh, link to their Facebook page as well. But there's the, uh, for King Shark, I guess he's the new Baby Yoda, everybody's saying, because of Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad didn't do very well, but could be this is the beginning of the end for the comic book movies, because Black Widow tanked really badly too. Multiple packets on those. Let's see what's on the other side here. Got more air. Let's put some of this air back in this box here. Pull out these backing boards. There's a lot of DC product out this week. I think there's 12 titles. There's more of the Batman Free Comic Book Day comics. Let's see, we also have this here, a uh, Beast Boy Loves Raven slash. Okay, that's just the back cover, but I may have just bought one one uh, packet of those. Nope, there's actually DC has like four of them. There's this here. Batman and Robin and Howard by Jeffrey Brown, the very talented Jeffrey Brown who did the uh, did all the Vader's uh, Vader's Little Princess and and Goodnight Darth Vader and um, Vader and Son. Here's the one in 25 variant on Batman 89 number one. Here's the one in 25 on I Am Batman Zero. More of the Batman and Robin and Howard. Or Batman, or maybe it's just Batman and Robin and Howard. Yeah, we got Batman looking through the window there. Her Robin's looking at him too. Wants to be friends with him. Okay. Here we have the Joker. Joker number six. Cover B on Joker number six. The rest of these looks like there's some more jokers in this box. Yep, this is Joker, probably cover C with Punch and Judy line. Let's see here. We've got here's the Suicide Squad cover on the Joker. Be what cover. This is covered uh, E, Justice League number 64, second printings on that. Here's Justice League The Last Ride, cover B. The Last House, or the Nice House on the Lake, book one. Third printings on those, for in case you've missed them. 
third printings. Here we have Justice League Last Ride number four. This actually has been pretty good. I've been very happy with it. A lot happier than some of the Marvel comics. Okay, I'm going to pause and we'll get the next box. Here's my invoice that doesn't give prices on the product, doesn't give what my cost per product is, but it's a they consider it an invoice. I can show you a picture of a car and tell it's your car, but it's not your car. The picture. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? All right. We've got. Looks like Detective Comics came out this week. Oh, Detectives it? 1041 came out this week. Okay. That's the B covers right there. The new Pennyworth came out. That is the cover A right there. Here's the Joker A covers on issue six. Challenge of the Super Sons number five, that is the B cover. Batman Urban Legends number six came out. This is the A cover on Batman Urban Legends number six. I think this might be the last issue of that particular series. Uh, Batman The Adventures Continue season two number three. This is the B cover. People thought it came out last week, but sometimes they lie on their shipping updates. Here is the A cover on that. Very Bruce Tim looking. There's the rest of my copies. B cover on Pennyworth number one. Rorschach. Rorschach number is it number nine? Which number is this? Number 11 came out. Here's the A cover on Rorschach number 11. So one more issue to go. They should get Brian Bowen or, uh, to do the do one of these covers. I think this is, yeah, this is Art Adams. So this is Art Adams doing this cover on issue number 11. So that's worth the price of admission right there. Here we have Wonder Woman number 777. Wonder Woman versus Wonder Man. Or is it Hercules? We'll call him Wonder Man. He had, that's, he's dressed up as a woman, but he's a man. He's Wonder Man. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be, but he looks like man to me. He looks like a big Wonder Man. Got a big old burly beard and everything. This is cover B on Wonder Woman 777. That's the, uh, that's his, the, the devil's uh, mother-in-law's uh, area code. Few more of those Wonder Womans. Here is the Suicide Squad cover on Wonder Woman 777. I didn't buy very many of these Suicide Squad covers, so if you're interested, I would be here not soon after I open on uh, tomorrow morning. Here is the B cover by the great uh, Jerry Ordway on Batman 89, number one. It's to take uh, sort of a sequel to the um, the uh, Michael Keaton Batman film. So we'll see how they did on that. They're also doing like a Superman 77 on the Christopher Reeve film. This, I believe, is the cover A. It is. Very, very nice looking cover on this first issue of Batman 89. That's uh, issue one. That's the A cover. I think we've got a total of uh, three different covers there. thought that there was here's the Joker 1 in 25 cover variant on the on that there not sure who that's supposed to be maybe young Joker Let's 
see the other cover for that Batman 89, but we have some other comics first. We've got Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries number five, right there. That's uh, selling okay. Nice book for the kids. Infinite Frontier number four. This is the Suicide Squad cover on that. Here is the connecting cover on Infinite Frontier number four. President Superman. We've got Future State Gotham number four. That is cover A on that title. Here is the A cover on Challenge of the Super Sons number five. This is a seven issue series. Did not order many of those, so those should be sold out by this weekend, certainly. few more of those Challenge of the Super Sons. Batman Urban Legends number six. This is the B cover. No Batman on this cover, but you have uh, you got Wonder Woman fighting, um, I can't remember what her name was, Zealot from uh, Wildcats. Jim Lee's Wildcats. Now we've got this cover. This is the C cover on Batman Urban Legends. I think this is the Art Germ Black Canary cover. This thing is going to sell. Lots of people, what a beautiful looking cover there. Man, hot, hot, hot. Again, if you haven't been in a while, you come stopping by in a month or so, hey, I'll, I'll take one of those. You may be very out of luck. Here is the B cover, or the A cover on Detective 10, 10 uh, 1041. Take off on uh, uh, Michelangelo statue. Got a chance to see that statue in person while I was in the Navy. Awesome. Very lucky, very lucky to have seen that. There's more of those. More Batman 89s here. Ah, this is a... And they didn't tell you how how we could order these things. This is the one thing about Lunar. Uh, their information is very, very lacking. This is a, a variant cover for the Free Comic Book Day Batman issue. Uh, they, they put that it's an incentive, but... You go to click on it, it doesn't tell you all the information. So very, very lacking. So give them an F plus on that. Infinite Frontier number four, that's the A cover. Here we have I Am Batman. This is cover C of issue zero. This is cover B of issue zero. More of those cover B's. Here's the cover A's. I am Batman issue zero, cover A. Hope everybody enjoys this book. Forgot how Hardwire was coming out. Uh, this is the C cover on Hardwire season one. Number one. I thought there was a cover C on uh, on the um, Batman eighty nine. It must have been just the uh, the one in twenty five. I think this is the one in twenty five for the Hardwire season one. I'm surprised they didn't bag that. They usually bag those covers. I think this is. Uh, Dennis Cowan, yep, Dennis Cowan cover on the cover B right there for Hardwire Season 1, number 1. 
Future State Gotham number four. This is the Suicide Squad cover. This is the B cover on Future State Gotham number four. These are the A covers. These are all A covers on Hardware Season 1, number 1. And I'm going to pause, and we got one more box. This is a very light box here. Wondering what it was. And look, open it up, took a quick look. Very, very surprised by this. This is Dark Knight's Death Metal Soundtrack. This is the Wonder Woman variant, two LPs, red smoke vinyl, includes a 11 by 22 posters, limited edition trading card in that. You've got all the bands there, Mastodon, you've got Maria Brink from uh, In This Moment with uh, Tyler ba uh, Bates, Gray's Days, Rise Against, uh, Starcrawler, uh, Idols, Soccer Mommy, uh, quite a bit of stuff. Could have actually had some actually really cool death metal on here. Uh, none of these bands are really death metal. Could have had uh, some Demi Borgir, uh, of course, black metal, some, maybe some Behemoth, some Carcass, some Emperor, some Abbott. Uh, could have actually had some really cool death metal on here. Because isn't that what this should be? Cool death metal. You know, stuff that you'd see at Vakken or at Grass Pop Metal Meeting or at Hellfest or Earthshaker or Rock Am Ring. But uh, that's it. I only have a couple of these. And uh, I'm not sure what the price is going to be yet, but uh, we'll find out tomorrow morning. But other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thank your comics retailers for everything they do. Don't forget to thank all the comics retailers this Saturday. As you get to, as you grab up your, your free comics, remember, they're not free for us. All these stacks that you saw here that I pulled out, those all cost me money. So everything that we give away you know, isn't free from, from us. The, uh, the companies sell them to us that's greatly discounted, but they don't give them to us out of the generosity of their hearts. But be sure to thank any retailer you go to. Thank them. And be sure to buy something also, because that's what keeps us in business. And that's what helps us so we can do it next year. But other than that, thanks for watching. Take care.